Good afternoon and welcome to the Perkins Garages YouTube channel for a Ford Fiesta Active X walk around video. But before we do get started, if you are thinking about party changing your vehicle, click on the link at the top right hand side of your screen. That link will take you straight to the perkinsgarages.co.uk website where you can value your vehicle in under a minute. And no, I'm not Philip Schofield. So this vehicle here is a rather beautiful magnetic grey Ford Fiesta Active X MHEV. So that is a mild hybrid electrical vehicle. So what that means for you, the user, is there's no plugging in, there's no waiting for it to charge. You simply jump in it, drive it like any other vehicle, and get some very good MPG out the back of it. Which is partly thanks to the 1 litre EcoBoost engine that produces 125 PS of power. That 125 PS of power is then transmitted through a 7 speed automatic gearbox. We are registered on a 2023 registration, meaning we have Ford warranty all the way to March 2026. Very low mileage on this one, it's only done 1700 miles, but like always, I'll get you the exact number once we're on the dash in a moment. So the first place we are going to go this afternoon is the near side front bumper, where I present to you the rather beautiful Ford Remote Central Locking Key in all of its beauty. Clicking on the unlock button in turn is going to wake up the daytime running lamps. Daytime running lamps give you, or give other road users, the ultimate visibility, so you're always going to be seen no matter the lighting condition. So inside those head headlights are the Matrix LED headlights, so that's got some fantastic top quality headlights. And no, they're not flashing in real life, and that's just simply because of the frequency in which my camera records at. We've got some wonderful headlights, and just below we can start to see parking sensors trail themselves all the way around that front lip of the bumper. I love the colour scheme, this one, the magnetic grey with the gloss black trims looks the business. So just below the number plate there is a front facing radar. This is responsible for some of the driver assistance pack, such as pre-collision assist. I shall come to the driver assistance pack once we're inside the vehicle in a moment. Moving ourselves around until we eventually get to these beautiful 18 inch machine cut alloy wheels so the machine cut give you the silver shiny face with a gloss black just behind again matching the color scheme with the gloss black trims and the black wheels yeah they look really really nice as you can see we have the continental premium contact six tires and they're in fantastic condition and also some silver painted brake calipers once the tire is a jar look um, you can still see the ink in the middle of them so very low mileage on these and as you can see loads of tread remaining there now i'm in the mood to talk about some sensors so this time in the afternoon when the sun is going down and the moon is coming up that little sensor there is a light sensor so that is automated lights your lights will come on automatically further north at the top there that long one at the bottom of your screen if you like is a traffic speed sign recognition camera this can be used in a coordination with the intelligent speed limiter meaning if your speed limiter is set and you go past a differing speed sign your limiter is going to change automatically top left is a light sensor for the uh, uh, auto high beam and top right is a rain sensor for the automatic wipers further north being the active we have the black painted roof rounds as well so that if you uh, require a roof box that's very easy to achieve now i'm just going to take you down to the body of the vehicle once again take it to half zoom lock the vehicle pop that in my pocket because these four lines mean we have keyless entry a simple tap behind the door handle will unlock the vehicle and tapping on those four lines once again will then lock the vehicle so there's a safety system behind this so look out for the indicators flashing again in about 20 seconds or so when the vehicle self locks itself so making ourselves around the offside now we can see we have rear privacy glass and again that color scheme of the black and the gray it just looks fantastic this stage of the video, I take a step back on the offside rear and just gently rock the camera side to side, gently shimming on down, hopefully displaying just how beautiful all the body panels are. You can see it looks like a mirror. Fantastic work, lovely. Now we're at the bottom, we can then link it back around to the offside rear wheel, giving you a good look at that. And again, a matching Continental Premium Contact 6 tyre. Moving ourselves around again, rear parking sensors continue like so and those rear parking sensors are complemented just beautifully with a high definition reversing camera which looks absolutely amazing on the sync 3.4 module which i shall come back to in a second near side of the bodywork now let's get that done and we can have a look inside so again just gently rocking the camera side to side like so as you can see very immaculate 
condition. And we can come back round to the near side rear wheel, giving you a good look at that, before following it all the way down to the near side front wheel, giving you a good look at that. And there we are, my sister's jar, that looks good as new, as you can see, as I said earlier, you can still see the ink at the bottom of the tyre. So, worth noting, keyless entry, both front doors, so uh, no matter where you are, well, front doors obviously, but your passenger or driver side, you can still gain entry. Now, that's the exterior taken care of. So to open the boot, we have the double unlock function on the key, otherwise we have the pressure pad just left of the camera, which will open the boot. And so, the ever classic Ford Fiesta rear boot, so it's a bit of a TARDIS if you like. Appears a really small vehicle, but it packs a punch. You've got a very high volume boot space there. It's big enough for a couple of suitcases, sports equipment, a couple of little doggos, or anything in between. So yeah, it's very versatile. A staple of the British motor industry for many a year. That there is a space saver spare wheel. You wouldn't know it, but all underneath there is all the relevant tools and jacks you need to change the wheel on the side of a road. Fantastic. Let's shut that up once more. Let's have a look inside the rear. So, offside rear, here's where I begin. So we have a hard-wearing plastic on the door cards. So it's been nice and easy to wipe clean, get off the mucky fingerprints. Maybe you had children in the back there. Leading into your armrest and the corresponding window switch for the offside rear window. For the first time, let's spin that camera around to display these beautiful ActiveX rear seats. So you can see it's a part leather, part suede design, and you have the blue stitching in the active design on the lower back and base part. If you were carrying those smaller humans of the world, you might require an ISO fixing seat. So you get one on the near side, or one on the off side, and one again on the near side. Looking down to the floor there, we have the Ford Fiesta Active. Floor mats already in there, good to go. And as you can see, you've got the beautiful blue stitching on those as well. And the point I'm going to make, this is uh, impressive for me. So we have the parking pack on this vehicle. So obviously that's your front and rear parking sensors. You have Ford Self Park, which I shall come back to in a second. And we also have these beautiful door edge guards. So as you open and shut the door, it's going to wrap the edge like so, hopefully protecting your property or somebody else's. And maybe have an aggressive child getting out the rear. That could save a nasty, unwanted bill. So continuing now, let's have a look inside the driver's seat. So, just left of the door handle is your interior locking, leading down to your mirror controls, so and your rear window lock, and all four window controls. The armrest is slightly different than the front, we get a soft touch leather, and that continues up the door cart as well. So it's going to be nice and comfortable for the driver on those longer commutes. Spinning the camera around for the last time to display some seats. Again, we've got a lovely synthetic leather, airbody leather, with blue stitching and suede in the lower back. Uh, perforated leather either side, so it's going to be nice and breathable also. And the lower, ba lower base part of the seat again, leather and suede. And as you can see, it's in fantastic condition as well. These are manually adjustable seats. You have a rear tilt, you have your height adjustment on that ratchet there, and your forward and backwards is done on the conventional rail underneath. Now, I'm just going to jump inside the vehicle before any midges eat the life out of me and uh, you may hear a little bit of distortion on the microphone so please just bear with me a moment okay now inside the vehicle as i said the vehicle look at that so that ladies and gentlemen boys and girls is a digital driver display so as you open the door you're greeted with the lovely fiesta symbol so the bottom uh, is the mileage which is uh, 1734.3 at the exact time of filming to complement the keyless entry, we have the engine start stop button. So, foot to press on the brake, one click of the button, and that will gain us power to the vehicle. I need to just turn down the radio. I don't want any copyright infringements on my hands this evening. Right. So, the left hand side there, you can see a coolant temperature sensor followed by a digital speedometer. At the bottom, we have the odometer followed by the gear select indicator, ambient air temperature and the digital readout for the fuel gauge with the bar graph on the right hand side. And just above it is the RPM times 1000. This counts the revolutions of the crankshaft, also known as the output power of the engine. 
In the middle there we have a, a menu that we can flick through and you can customise to your preference. So I'll just show you very quickly, on the right hand side of the steering wheel we have a return, an OK up and down and a menu button. And we'll be using these three in to control the screen ahead of us. So if I click on the menu button to expand, we then go to select screens and we can choose up to seven screens to have on your home page, whether that's a calm screen, fuel economy, chip computer one or two, we've got the traffic sign recognition, hybrid gauge, eco behavior, the tire pressures are there as well, seat belt warning, average speed and auto stop start. So lots to go at and you can customize that to your preference. Next up is audio, this is where you can see your presets, and then FM and DAB also. So if you want to flick between the stations, you can easily do that there. And navigation is exactly the same. So once you have this sync uh, navigation program with your home destination, your favorites, your points of interest, and previous destinations also, you can literally set the navigation with a click of a couple of buttons instead of messing around on the sync module. So it's nice to do if you're out about driving, it saves you pulling over. Next up, your phone connectivity. No phone is connected at the moment, unfortunately. So that says no phone connected. Uh, so that is, long and short of it, that is the digital driver display. There's a few other little goodies, but in the interest of time, I won't bore you too much. We do have selectable drive modes. Oh, oh, oh look at this. So it defaults to normal. But we also have an eco, the sport mode in there, slippery, trail. And that is exclusive to the active variant let's go in there look how look how nice that looks it goes to a greeny brown screen giving you a different ambiance to uh, your drive so a big fan of these digital driver displays they are gorgeous anywho right i'm just going to slide my seat back for the next bit otherwise you're just going to see all knees and that's not what you're here for so on the right hand side again all of the controls for the screen we have a voice command button a pickup decline and previous and next song function Moving over to the left hand side there is where you'll find all the buttons for the adaptive cruise control. Top left is the distance to the vehicle in front and we have cancel, set speed plus and minus in the middle, resume, uh, standby top right and your speed limiter bottom right. And at the bottom of that cluster a volume minus, a volume plus and also a mute button. So if I just show you quickly back on the screen there, you can see bottom left hand side of the middle bit is the 50 miles per hour sign which you will see when you're entering Perkins garages. So once to take it, the cruise control off a standby, you then are presented with your set speed to the left hand side. This is where it will display your set speed. And in the middle you can see the bars. And as I click on the distance, you can select the distance to the vehicle in front. There are many advantages of cruise control and adaptive cruise control. A, when you're sitting in traffic for example, but B, it's so good for your fuel economy. So if you're not using it already, start using it. You will see massive improvements to your MPG because it keeps your revs at a constant level instead of dipping on and off the accelerator wasting fuel. So if you do spend a lot of time on the motorway it's definitely worth giving a go. Right we're going to progress. I just want to show you this quickly. This is a quick toggle on and off for your lane keeping system. Some people love lane keeping. Some people really don't like lane keeping. So if you don't like it, you can turn it off with a click of a button there. That is thanks to our European friends, the Euro NCAP safety rating, saying we need to have active safety systems every time the ignition cycles. Right, progressing now into the essential part of the vehicle. In this cubby hole here at the bottom is a USB-A port. This will be perfect for Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Plug your cable in there, thread it through this little gap here, and you can place your phone wherever you like but your cable is not going to be tethered if you like down there spring loaded cup holders absolutely marvelous i often go for a coffee run on the weekend if i get the time and they give you that horrible little brown cup holder and you put your coffee cups in there that's going to save a lot of problems about handling the seat and your coffee flying out everywhere so good to have good quality cup holders somewhere to put your change and we have five buttons down there let me straighten the camera up slightly anyway Top left is the selectable drive mode button, followed by the traction control on and off. This is for the Ford self park assist, which I shall come back to in a second. This is your parking sensors on and off switch, and this will turn off automated stop start. If you don't like automated stop start, put it in sport mode, and that will disable it. But it's fantastic for saving a bit of fuel. So if you're constantly at a junction or traffic lights, now cut the engine out. But by the time you've come off the brake pedal and try to hit the accelerator, your engine will be running again. It really has advanced in the last. 10 years or so. So this is now your 7 speed automatic control, toggle shifter at the front there that you can put it down to the relevant drive position. Left hand side is a 12 volt socket and the right hand side is your second USB-A port. 
This panel here is for the heating, ventilation and air conditioning controls. Couldn't be simpler. Fan speed to the left, temperature control and on and off to the right hand side. Different DMIS functions are your top left, so front and rear, and automatic air conditioning is found just below it. Different flows events are found in the middle, whether it's your screen, face or feet. Recirculation, max air conditioning and air conditioning on and off is there. This vehicle also has the winter pack. What I mean by that is two heated front seats, which are three-way electrically adjustable, like you can see there. And we also have the electronically heated windscreen and a heated steering wheel. So, you know, if you do have cold hands, cold bum, or even a cold windscreen, we have you covered. So turn that off again. Right, so that's the controls for that. Then we can move on to this, which is a SYNC 3.4 module. We have the dark blue band at the bottom, so we know it's the updated software. Very simple to work your way around here. It's a fantastic system. Audio, so your radio, bottom left. Click the sources button. Then you can see FM, DAB and Bluetooth audio. Click in the return button, you're back to here. Click your phone, this is where you can connect your phone via Bluetooth connectivity. Everyone's used Bluetooth these days, still fantastic, some people still prefer it. Personally, I'd be tempted to use Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. In the middle there is the Ford Navigation. Again, I use it all the time on my, my Focus. It's fantastic, uh, never let me down. Click search, once the keyboard is loaded, you shall need to pop in Charlie Mike 77 6 Sierra Alpha, no lag whatsoever. And uh, this is if you'd like to come to Perkins to look at this Fiesta, of course. Uh, there we go, click the start button, it'll navigate you here in no time at all. So that's a quick demo of the Ford Nav, that's how simple it is. Next up, I'm gonna take you over to settings and driver assistance, and this is the driver assistance pack on this vehicle, and that includes the adaptive cruise control. We have the manual or intelligent speed. Oh, look, traffic announcement. That's lovely, thank you very much. Let's close that. What I should have done is turn that off. Live video, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. There we go. So, uh, where was I? Pre collision assist, lane keeping system. I don't know if I covered that. Traffic sign recognition, rear view camera, wrong way alert, driver alert. And uh, we can then go exit out there, take into vehicle settings, because in vehicle settings we have so many goodies, such as we've got your remote start setup. So if you was to purchase this Fiesta, please download the Ford Pass Connect application to your mobile telephone device. Then you can link your vehicle and your phone together, take advantage of some of the app's features, such as remote starts. So you can turn it on, set your climate control, your, your seats and steering wheel, and even the duration. So again, if it's a frosty cold morning, you're sitting there drinking your coffee, heat your car up before you get in it. Very nice indeed. Automatic wipers are in there, which I previously mentioned outside, but I thought I'd show you anyway. And your auto eye beam is there as well, which I should also show you there. Right, so that is most of the goodies. There's the widget for the Apple CarPlay. So Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So plug your phone in using a USB data cable, and it shall pretty much mirror your phone onto this screen here. There are many, many compatible applications, such as Apple Music, Spotify, Maps, Apple Maps, Google Maps, Waze, things such as that. So whatever your preference is, and yeah, you can use it. It's a fantastic system. I use it all the time, and it charges your phone. Most importantly, you can use your voice command. So I've got Siri on an iPhone. Click the voice command button. Siri will wake up. You can ask Siri to do well, pretty much anything, really. Make phone calls, send audible text messages, play music, set navigation. Hey Siri, what time does the football start on Sunday? Anything you like, all hands free. Very clever indeed. So before I go, a couple of other things to address. Rear, rear reversing camera with the park pilot, so as you move the steering wheel, the lines will move, navigating you into the space. Yes, the park brake is applied. That was that beep there, if you're curious. Top right hand side of the screen is the proximity sensors for the front and rear parking sensors. This will give you an intermittent beep that will increase in frequency as you get closer to the object in question. Moving back into park and reapplying the handbrake. The last thing I'm going to show you is the Ford Self Park Assist. So, yes, this park vehicle will quite literally park itself for you, which includes a parallel park in. You can use the indicators to dictate which side of the road you shall be parking on. In the middle there is your perpendicular or bay park. Then we also have your parallel park out also, which is incredibly use useful in those very tight situations. So that is this wonderful Ford Fiesta Active X in a nutshell. Thank you very much for watching. At the end of this screen, you shall see a little pop-up. 
click on that and that will take you straight to the Perkins Garages of Cody K website listing where you can see all the amazing photographs, all the full description and everything else. If you'd like to get in contact with our sales team, the number you shall need is 01376 550 899. Also, on the right-hand side of your screen will be a playlist to take you to all of our other Fiestas if they're not sold already. But there we are. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and hopefully I'll be speaking to you again soon. Goodbye for now.